Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for uh, Tuesday, April the 14th. This is going to cover our lesson um, with working with uh, graphing figures on the coordinate plane. Uh, this is lesson 10.9. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the beginning of what we're working on for today. Um, I'm trying to pre-fill out as much as I can, um, but I may skip writing things in uh, just for the sake of time, because I don't want this lesson to be too incredibly long. So to start with, they gave us four points. Um, they wanted us to plot points C and D. So point C would be positive two, positive eight. Point D would be positive nine, positive eight. So this would be C, this would be D. And then they want us to figure out what the length um, or what the distance is for the length as well as for the width. So to start with, we're going to take our absolute value of 9, which is 9, absolute value of 2, which is 2, and do 9 minus 2 equals 7 feet. So that's going to be our distance from here to here. And then from point C to point B, we are doing um, the same thing, except we are starting with the absolute value of 8, and the absolute value of 3. So 8 minus 3 is going to give us 5 feet. That means the dimensions would be 7 feet by 5 feet. Um, part B, or sorry, I guess it's not part B. I guess it would be the second example. I don't think I circled this, but I wanted to go over this um, just for the sake of um, clarity for what we're going to be working with later. So they want us to plot the given points. So three out of the four points I've already put in here. So we have point P at positive four, positive two, Q at uh, positive three, negative three, at R at um, negative uh, three, negative three, and then we have to figure out what point S is going to be. So First thing, the opposite sides are going to be equal. They're going to have the same length. Um, the length of side R to Q would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or we would add the absolute value of positive 3 and negative 3 to get our 6. Um, so the length of this side also has to be 6 units. So I can start at... Uh, this particular point here and count over one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I look at the shape, I should be one spot over and then up. One spot over and then up. Um, the first time I did this, I accidentally miscounted and I put my dot here. And then when I start looking, I was like, oh, this looks a little bit different than the relationship between these two. They should have an identical relationship. And so that has to do with the way the angle looks if I, if I were using that um, to check. So um, the coordinates of this vertex would be negative two, positive two. And so that would be the ordered pair for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our share and show. So um, we want to go ahead and graph all of the points that we can. Um, it looks like uh, this is going to be a triangle and the other one we were doing a parallelogram. Uh, we always want to graph whatever we have first if we're having to find uh, something that's missing um, just to make it a little bit easier to relate. So negative 1, positive 3 would give us this for point A. Point B is going to be negative 4, negative 2. And then C is going to be positive 2, negative 2. So it looks like we are going to have some kind of um, possibly 1, 2, 3, four, eh, maybe a right triangle. Um, I'm not going to try to play connect the dots um, too closely. Um, actually, it's not going to be a right, right triangle. Um, because of the way that's going to work out. Uh, let's see, so horizontal distance from B. Uh, so we have four units because our absolute value of negative four is four. Absolute value of two is two. So we are going to add because we are in different quadrants. So that's gonna give us six units. Uh, number three. Uh, 
So we have three of our four points. We need to figure out what the fourth one is going to be. It looks like our fourth point is going to be in line with K and directly above M. And so that would give a point right here. And so that would give us J being equal to uh, negative two, one. Uh, number five, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five different points for a pentagon, and we want to find the length of one of the sides. So uh, again, if you need to pause the video um, to go ahead and work on uh, getting your points plotted in, you can do that. Um, I'm not going to label all of these uh, nine, three. Actually, I only need to label these two to get the length of what we were doing. So I can do seven minus three, and that gives us a length of four. If I went ahead and graphed the rest of this um, for fun, that would be my point for three, three. And then I would have a point for three, seven. And then I'm guessing I'm gonna have a point that's up here. Um, yeah, six, nine. So it's going to kind of look like um, if we were making the frame of a house, if we were drawing uh, <laughs> one of those, uh, my, my uh, quality of drawing is limited to drawing stick figures. So I recognize that immediately as about the only way I could draw a house and then I would put a door and a couple windows and I'm good. Um, so those are the problems for today. Uh, for the homework, um, if we have to do pictures, it would probably be easier for you to just upload a picture of your work. Um, if it's something like this where we can just give what the points or the lengths are, uh, then that should be really easy to do in the Google Docs. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments for Google Classroom. Again, uh, your class will uh, be doing office hours on Wednesday, so that will be the morning that this video comes out. Um, that is not correct. You will be doing it on the morning that the homework video come, for this lesson comes out. So um, if you have any questions and uh, Monday, uh, sorry, Wednesday morning rolls around and you have questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be happy to work with you on that. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.